fertilizer spreader again today. Uh, today now I'm spreading fertilizer on grazing land. This is on the home farm now. Uh, what am I spreading today? Spreading nitram today. 125 kilos a hectare or 108 an acre. Just giving it the first. Uh, First dose of the year, and I was coming to pour away rain. As I was loading the spreader, the um, sun just peeped out momentarily, and I thought, oh, not too bad. I've got to the field now, and it's, it's pouring it down. You can probably see some rough looking pieces along the edge here. The, um, the track by there we only put in last spring. So, uh, the track, you have to say, we put the track in last spring, and those bits of grass sort of got killed a bit. We moved the top, no, they didn't, that's topsoil that we moved on top of there, that is. And we haven't got round to patching the seed up on it yet, so that's. One little job for the spring, that'll be. I was hoping it'd be a nice day today and you have a good view from out of this field, but uh, you know, can't see very far at all now because the rain is coming again. Somebody asked uh, on, on my last video, um, I can't remember who it was now, John, John, so on, I can't remember his surname now, uh, how much land do I rent? Well, I don't actually rent any ground, the, the land you can still be spending sil fertilizer on for silage is um, contract farmed. I um, buy the silage off it off that ground, off the owner of the land, but he pays me to spread the fertiliser on it. He pays me to spread the fertiliser. So that's how that, that's what that ground is. There's a nice bit of grass about here at the moment. Cows are munching their way through it slowly, they're out night and day with us now. Cows have been out um, when they got first, Monday night, first night out. But this wet day carries on now, they'll probably come in an hour early and have some bit of silage today. They haven't been, but it's been dry. It was a wet day today, so we'll probably bring them in for a bit of silage tonight now. But they'll still go out to, out to grass tonight, I think. of the head cam view. I know a lot of people have watched a few videos with it, of others doing it, and um, people do complain a bit that it makes them nauseous, makes them sick. But I find it alright, I don't find any problem with it when I'm watching them. Right, next field. I'm just going around the headlands at the moment, because uh, on the, my Amazon, I am got um, I've got to change a disc so I don't spread all the fertilizer into the hedge. I've got to change a disc, so I just go around the block. And what I do here, I do four fields here now. Go around the headlands, swap the disc, and I'll do the the inside of the fields afterwards then. get like um, hydraulic limiters or some of them now that drop down and I expect the more technical ones have got a limiter that drops down off the control box. 
think. Now some of you might be thinking, why do I do my corners like this? And well, that's the way I was taught. That's the way I was taught to do it um, when I was a student. Um, I worked for a contractor, a contract farm in Oxfordshire. And uh, I only did, I didn't do much fertilizing, but I was told when you go, when spreading wide, like 24 meters wide we were doing then, back in the late 90s. And he said, don't drive around the corner, they go in, go into the corner, stop, and square them off. Otherwise your outside doesn't get much and inside gets too much. So I was taught to do it like that. And I've carried on doing it really. Carried on doing it on the bigger fields. Remind me that was rough. My phone's all flying now. There's a few ruts from uh, Jones who did the hedge cutters for, cutting for me. yellow tinge here. I think that's because it's been, it's been catching the weather. This face is warm here, so it catches the cold. It catches the cold north wind. That white was annoying, isn't it? at the tyres on the tractor. Maybe. Right, let's um, turn it off. Yep, yeah, disc has stopped. Right. Swap the discs over now. This is the border disc for when I'm doing the headlands. And this is my disc for normal spread in now. A keyway in there, a little like little guide sort of thing, and it keeps dropping out. And like when I'm sat here on the lane now changing, it doesn't drop out, it always drops out when I'm on the grass in the grass field on the floor. Right, let's carry on. Indicator. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've done set off doing that and not put it in gear. Yeah, done 
like once or twice set off up across the field and no PTO going. I've also gone off spreading fertilizer with um, the wrong speed. Uh, the right speed on the back, on the master, you set the 540 or the um, 1000 shaft on a little lever at the back end. So I did that, put it in 540, but the cab one here was in eco up there. But I was revving it at 2000, so yeah. And there was some interesting, uh, interesting looking grass after that one, I tell you. done mess ups like that. I'd have thought, or was it just me? Oh, one mess up I did do, when I was fertilising this when I was working up in Oxfordshire this was. I, uh, they told me what speed to go or whatever, I thought yeah, lovely job, I think it was about 12k, no, yeah, or 10k. Uh, so I set off, And I uh, didn't actually notice for the first field that well, I was actually doing, instead of doing 10k, I was actually doing 10 miles an hour. Whoops. I had to go back over that one. That was on a John Deere 6900. And you thought that would be calibrated in kilometres an hour in a European made tractor, but no, that was the. Uh, yeah, 10 mile an hour, that was a bloody, uh, I had to readjust the, the spreader and go back over the whole field again. That one field was 80 acres. There's some bloody big fields up there, we were working in then. We've got nothing like that home here. No, nothing like that home here in Pembrokeshire. to say now so I'll um, say bye bye and I'll catch you in the next video be sure to comment and subscribe and all that sort of stuff bye bye